New tonight about uh, the extensive repairs needed at Beach Grove High. The school was hit by one of the tornadoes that touched down on Saturday. They're still planning to start classes on July 31st, but not every classroom will be ready. News 8's Julia Dang talked to the superintendent today and uh, I understand he shared some new pictures with you. Yeah, that's right, Mike. We are getting our first look inside the more than 20 classrooms affected by water damage. The Beach Grove superintendent says walking through the devastation you see behind me was emotional for him, but he isn't letting it affect students looking forward to a new academic year. Teacher materials were destroyed, the ceiling tiles are out. Dr. Paul Kaiser says insurance will cover tornado damage at Beach Grove High. But there's a lot of personal things. Although photos and other mementos can't be replaced, he's grateful they're only dealing with damage and not tragedy. I literally saw the tornado. If it would have had a direct hit on the high school, uh, it would have just been devastating. Ironically, my office is 30 yards away and uh, not even a shingles off that. The flagpole was taken to the ground. The office wasn't touched. But athletic fields and classrooms weren't just touched. They were battered by the tornado. If we get another strong wind, the walls within that building could fall over. He says the Enrichment Academy and new science classrooms won't be repaired until later in the year. For now, though, Kaiser wants to keep the focus on families in need. We have a lot of people trying to raise money. We've said, hey, we have a lot of community members that also need help. Tonight, the home of the Hornets is home to hope that they can rebuild as a community. Appreciate the support of our first responders. They don't need donations to cover repairs, but they will accept help to replace teacher supplies. If you'd like to contribute, we have information for you on wishtv.com. Live in the studio, Julia Dang, Wish TV News 8.